but then that's the re because the reason for it is just to synthesize us on okay this is what you can do and this is what you cannot do and to tell you that okay these are a lot of things that you can do with your computer with your mobile phone and not just a lot of things you can learn in tech right so yeah that was the purpose for that's that's purpose of these three days um free training which ends today okay so um having said that i'll just begin by sharing my screen so we'll continue with the um robotics class that we were working on okay so um how many of us enjoyed yesterday's class Did, can you give me a thumbs up? Does that mean that nobody enjoys yesterday's class? Or is that why people are not in class today? Because they didn't enjoy it. I enjoyed yesterday's class. Can you give me a thumbs up? Can you hear me? Okay, okay, alright, thanks. Alright, so thank you so much. All right, so if that be the case, we can proceed. So, um, okay. So yesterday we were talking about robots, and we said that robots something a machine that works without um human um supervision. Okay, any machine that works without human supervision, it's a robot. So we gave example of um building a smart a smart dustbin, right? and we're able to conclude that um that's the robot and it's not it's not difficult to build a smart dustbin i mean it's like one of the simplest um projects to create okay so now just like you have a python ide right so like i said um robots are firmwares and by firmwares i mean yeah, hardware and softwares right together so you combine a machine that's com combining those hardware and software is programmed a programmable machine or a programmable te uh, technology is a firmware right so firmware is f let me just get that spelling for us all right so that's that Okay, so it's a, it's a form of um, code embedded into a hardware, all right? So that's the stuff. So embedded systems is majorly what we are um, looking at in when it comes to robotics, okay? So now, sorry. All right, so now um, moving on. Moving on, we have um, you have your robots, you have your components you want to use to build your robot. You have the components you want to use to build your robot. Um, what you need is a prog um, a programming language that's be able to what, communicate to the robot that okay, I want to do this. So let's say now we have our components that we want to use the robot. So let's say we have, let me just open that smart dustbin again. For our example, smart dustbin. So let's say I have my components, everything. I have my Sony sensor. I have my Arduino. I have every every component I need. But this, the brain is programmed, right? That's the Arduino is programmed. So you need to tell the brain, okay, I want you to do this. I want you to do that. So if the brain is going to do, it's going to what? Work with it. So let's say um it's just like um let me use a human being. So if your your parents say you should go and buy them something, right? It's the message is sent to your brain. So it's is it your brain you're using to go and buy the thing? No, but you're using your hands. Your hands is what's going to buy it, right? It's going to pick the item that you that you're sent to buy. Okay, so that's how it works. So it does not just need the the brain doesn't just work on its own. It has other components that works with it. All right. So that is that. So just get that right. So that brain needs, it's the brain that you program that will work with other components. Okay? Okay? All right. So, um, so that brain and the programming languages that the um, brain understands, specifically Arduino, like I said, is what we're using for this training, is the Arduino programming language. 
all right is a c is a program language built with c plus plus programming language yes you can use look as i mentioned yesterday you can use program language to build applications right so um algeria program language is another programming language built with c plus plus which is the only language that this particular Arduino board understands, right? Which is one of the brains of a robot, like I mentioned um, in the previous um, sessions. Okay. All right. So uh, moving on. So to get the software, you can just check for Arduino, but then you can't just get the software and start coding. You need the hardware as well. Okay. So for many of you that have been interested, that's not a problem. We'll look into that. So um, this is just a walkthrough on how the um the, this is just the id let me just show you from my laptop i have it installed on my computer okay this is one of our projects that we worked on all right so this is we're controlling the server motor with it so this is this may look hectic but trust me when we start with the basics you'll be able to understand so let me open a new project now when you open your id when you have installed it successfully you'll be able to see this so let me just give you a quick walkthrough on the ide right as the integrated development environment so this is the this is the ID for the um Arduino. Okay, so this void setup tells the um code as you can see here. This is put your code here to run once. Okay, so what the entity I put in this place is meant to run once. So like set up set up your code. That, okay. They are telling your brain of your Arduino board, okay, this is this is what it is. They are setting up the board, right? So this is just the, I just want to just show the, the IDE. So then this is void loop. Now this is where your main code runs, right? As you can see here, this put your code here to run repeatedly. So anything you put in this code means it's going to what? Run continuously, right? It's going to run until you put an end to it. So now this is how you comment in Python. Python, I better my head too much. This is how you comment in um, Arduino. All right, Arduino programming language, this is how you comment in it, right? So you comment using this, okay? So that's that. So I just, I just show this because I'm not really going to dive into this much details. So um, looking at this, so I think I want to just show the board. So I will explain it. So in the brain, like just like your brain is connected to many things, your Arduino board is also connected to what? Many things. Now these pins are what you use to connect to it. So you have veins, right? You have veins and you have bones and all that. Okay, let me just use the veins. I won't try and use, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a biology, biology student per se, but at least I know one or two in biology, right? Okay, so at least I, I think I got the vein correctly for parents that <laughs> know biology. All right, so um, for the Arduino now, we have some wires. Right, just like electricity, you have wires that connect each other. So let's say I want to program how you have these digital pins and analog pins. You know, I mentioned about digital analog in yesterday's class. All right, so digital pins and analog pins, digital pins are for digital devices, analog pins are for analog devices. And remember, I said digital devices are the ones that what are defined, either they are on or they are off, and all that. While analog pins are the ones that are not really defined, you will see them there like um the for example, the uh, potentiometer and the, the temperature sensor that I mentioned yesterday. Okay, so now if I want to program, let me say my LED, my LED board to turn on on its own. Okay, so I say, okay, I need to put it on a particular, I need to put it on a particular pin. So we have it on our Arduino board. Let me zoom in so we can see very well. We have it on our Arduino board. I don't know if, if it's clearer now. We have the ground. GND is for ground. Now, just like your normal electricity, you have life and dot earth, right? Similarly, in Arduino board, you have life. But don't, don't be scared. It's not going to shock you. The voltage that enters Arduino board is not, it's not, it doesn't have enough power to electrocute electric, electric anybody. Okay, you can never keep fly. No take off a human being. All right. All right, let's get that right. Okay, so don't be scared. Okay, are we going to do this? No, no, no. It's not going to shock you. All right, so GND is for ground then. Other digital pins and analog pins are your live pins as well. But then you also have um, a 5 volts. You also have a 5 volt pin. Okay. Also, I think it's behind this one. 
all right so you have your five opinions behind this is among one of these ones but i can't let me look for it you know let me just leave it. just know that you have five votes around there you have five votes and you have three points three votes on your dino board so any of those voltage um is what you can use all right so let's say if i want to program my um I, my my light bulb to turn on on its own or maybe should i program it i should turn on after five seconds turn off again all right so i we have to put it on a particular pin and i say let's say i put my pin towards pin 10 then i'll come to my code and say uh what is the code in this setup i will come in and say let this pin be what 10. so in doing that to do that i'll come in and, and put on um, pin mode all right so i need to define my my my, my code i said okay i'm using what i said i'm using 10. so i say 10 and remember i said your digital pins are what they're either on high or low right they're either on or they're digital um if, uh, output devices my led is an output device right my led and output device. why because it's emit lights so since i'm connecting my led to digital pin 10 i'll come here and put what outputs in capital letter now can you see the difference the color changed yeah right the color changed when i type up well, if i come here and i type outputs as a small letter sorry this is a capital letter small letter this is uh, the, the color did not change i tell you that this is not a function it's really it as a variable but if the color changes you know that, okay you're doing the right thing like this one our pin mode is a, a camera case i don't want to um dive much on it on that and this is only a camera case right camera case are like um um made way imagine two words together this is the, this what's happening here is you're imagining pin pin and mode so you want to combine them together as pin mode to form a word just like we have a dewali a de sorry i'm going to look at the name a dewali a de bio right so you want to combine a dewali a de bio together a dewali will be all small letters all right and then adebayo will be capital letter but i'll bring it together a in adebayo will be capital letter the rest of the small letter so i'll bring it together and forms adebayo adebayo that's what's happening here as well so this is a function i tell you that okay this is the pin that i'm using i know what this is the word out is what the, what is it? is it is this an input device or an output device by input device is example is a microphone it takes in value that's an input device right it takes in value like the microphone i'm talking to my microphone that's why you're able to hear me so your speaker is an output device but my microphone is an input device i can't hear myself because my speaker is my microphone is my laptop does not have that function that i will talk and i'll be able to hear myself immediately no otherwise it, it's of no use right it's just like pastor um it's not like the um microphone it's just like i'm talking with my microphone and then I'm hearing, the, I'm hearing myself through my microphone. It's not possible, right? It has to be through an output device. Right? That's why you are able to hear me from there. So, my microphone is an input device. Oh, someone is laughing. You can imagine that, right? <laughs> I mean, to be somehow. So, it's an input device that has a microphone. So, if I was to say I want to connect my microphone to uh, maybe digital pin. Sorry, analog pin, right? It's an analog device because I can't tell the frequency. So, I'll say analog pin, maybe analog pin 2. But the analog pins in Arduino board, we have only like five of them. So let's say I want to connect to analog pin two. I come here and I say pin mode um, two, and I put what input a capital letter. All right, do you get that? Okay, do you get that? All right, are you following? Please, everybody following. Give me thumbs up if you understand. Give me thumbs up if you don't. Hello guys, please any responses so I know you are with me. Can you give me okay um thank you Soro? Um can you give me thumbs up if any other person? Okay, all right, thank you. So don't worry, if you have any questions, drop your question on the income message. I guess Ronke is trying to say that she understands. Okay, he or she. Okay. All right, so let's let's proceed on that. Okay, so now that is that about the um Arduino. So now just like um electricity, right? You know, if you have something, I don't know if many of us have heard of the word um resistors. Okay, this this way you're seeing here, this is just a label of um the parts of the Arduino board. Okay, we have the power source, we have the the 
this is where you upload your code where you connect your usb and these are your just analog pins and register pins so now when you up this is where you put your usb you use this um, printer cable i don't know how many of you have seen this printer cable printer cable is what you use this to what upload your code on your computer the printer cable connects to the printer and then to your system using usb so a similar cable is what you see here all right so when you have finished opening your code your code is being stored in this brain so all you need to do is you can either use this to power your code if you're just testing or when you're done with your project, you can decide to use the words, the power source. So that means you can, when you're done building, let's say you want to build your edge, like someone was saying yesterday about electricity, I mean, sorry, um, security, right? So you can just decide to, um, when you're done building it, just put it out there, right? Connect it to power through this word, USB. So now through this um, power source, so you can either have to connect through, connect a um, direct to light, or use batteries so whichever one that you do is, is um whichever one you want so this is only this i need to connect and you power the entire board and you're good to go all right so that's that here so that way you're seeing the label now this is the power usb it gives power to the arduino board when you connect the old usb to the usb connection so the word the idea is that you can use it to what upload your code okay Alright, so this is the power jack as this one you're seeing here. I don't want to go into details of explaining all these parts. Alright, so um moving on. Moving on, I want to talk about can I, I don't I'm, I can't if I go into the rest of color code, we are not gonna leave here today. Okay, so maybe that will be but just know that we have resistors and the function of a resistor is to what reduce the flow of current, it's not gonna stop the flow. You're not going to start you're just going to like okay give you the exact the accurate um what are the um some amounts needed for you to power your word cool so that your components do not what blow up okay so your components do not what blow up. that's the function of the resistors and as you can see here resistors are what measured in ohms so when you when you i don't know how many of you are in um secondary school secondary school you know about physics you're able to know more about resistors and all that so you see that knowing um robotics and um programming and tech tech also helps you academically right one or two things okay so now this is this um the color band color code and all that we have different colors many many colors in course so and maybe side calculate it i don't want to like i said if i dive into this i won't be able to leave here today okay so um i just want to brief us on Okay, this is the how to install it. So if you can get the material, you can get the if you it's open sources it's on their website, so you can get it from there as well. So um yeah, I already explained the this is the I Arduino programming language IDE, right? Integrated development environment. Sorry, I'm just skimming through. Okay, so now for this is a piezo, a piezo is or a buzzer, right? Now this is an electronic component that can be used to detect vibrations and create noise. So this one does two things. It detects the vibration and create noise, which means that once you program it that it should detect this thing and create a noise for it, it does that. Alright, so this is also what I can read values from this, right? I can decide okay to know there's that I can increase the noise. I can say okay, I want you to you know you have volume on your keyboard right on, on your phones you can increase the volume of your phone you can reduce the volume and all that right you can have reduce and re increase so similarly you can increase the volume of the, the noise the volume of the noise and you can say reduce the volume of the noise okay so sorry take note this is not a resistor this was mismatched as you can see here this is the resistor you saw up here this is the this is the resistor not that not what you're seeing the, the, the diagram was mismatched so this is a resistor here okay this is an example of a resistor where you see the resistor when we get down the actual resistor okay so um just look at the i just want to just use that to explain the, the term here so resistor resists like i mentioned the flow of electric electrical um it's meant to be currents in a circuit changing voltage and current as a result which means that it's going to reduce the flow of current not to what like i mentioned to to damage your components and they have different um ohms different ohms for it you have um 220 ohms you have 
10 ohms you have one one m ohms yeah one has one million ohms okay so um so that's that then you have this is the arduino board like i mentioned is a picture of the my arduino microcontroller development board that will be the sensor i'll be at the center of the project right this is the brain of the world project okay so also mentioned about the light emitting diode as you can see here yes a small bulb but for the cost of you know prototype right like you're practicing you're learning there is a kit available right so you have this led bulb so this is what just to say okay let's say if i want to build a traffic light project i won't just go on the streets and start and start building it i need to build it somewhere and see okay is it going to work if it's going to work then i'll not take it out right so you can build it inside your house and say okay i can have built a traffic light project and this is going to solve the traffic maybe in lagos right so you can think of an idea on how to solve traffic whereby okay there's an idea uh, that was pitched okay so um about traffic light in lagos so this is it using uh, using arduino you can create you can solve solve lagos problem now um let's say there are some you know there are some times and i don't know that in lagos but in some other states um like for example beneath other states um there's a times whereby there is no traffic i mean like the no vehicle coming right and like so the opposite side of the road and i am driving right i'm driving and i'm like the traffic is red but i want to pass but there's no vehicle coming on the other side and the gas is green i mean i'm wasting my time and we and you know it gets so now a way of solving it is instead of waiting maybe i can create a system whereby um I have a sensor that will sense the vehicle. If there's a vehicle coming, my, the other side she will turn grey. I don't know how I explain this to you. They understand, but it was a very really nice project, but it wasn't it, it wasn't well sold. So if the traffic light, if the um traffic light is um red on my side and there's no vehicle coming from that side, let's say we have a range of distance, right? So remember I mentioned that in um using a tiny sensor. Let's say it senses that okay, the vehicle there's no vehicle coming through here, right? um then the other side can go when there's vehicle please use the normal traffic lights right so that way i'll be able to sa save uh, my time right so people that are using the they have cars we say okay well this is going to cause a little bit confusion but if it's well organized and well structured i believe that's going to solve the problem so that is it so if i want to do something like that i will need to have a prototype right in my house i say okay i want to build something like this and um solve the traffic lights problem and then i do you know code it right and if i am able to successfully build it then i can say okay then it's possible to do it out so if you can build a prototype on your table just like you see when people are having um architects they draw the plan of their house right they draw the plan they pay an architect to draw the plan of their house and then they, can, they give people to build it Right, seem like that's what's happening there in Adino. So you have to practice, and then we can see this is how it's going to be. Make your corrections, you know, and all that. So now, where are you going to connect all these things? We have it. Uh, we have a breadboard for that. So the breadboard is where you connect. You can see here, you connect all your components to it. Now, we have is a um a soda board and a soda less board. Now the soda board is the one we use in um physics, soldering um board. Okay, this is the one you use in physics whereby you use with your iron and once you soda it it's like permanently done it's permanently done you don't you cannot if you desoda it it's going to spoil the um stuff right so for you to um be able to you know remove and come back and all that you use the uh, sodaless board which is this the breadboard so the name sounds funny but it's kind of a bread that cannot be chewed a, a, a board on which you can build electric circuits is like patch panel so when you use a jumper wires to connect jumper wires is what to connect to wires right when you use jumper wires to connect them you'll be able to what detach them if it's not it doesn't work well and then fix it somewhere else and you know just like you're practicing okay so you're able to add remove remove add and all that all right so that is that for that those are the components some of the components that you use this is the jumper wire i mentioned I used to connect components together so there are two kinds of jumper wire and all that so you have a push button as well that this is just like um not a switch right just like the um alarm or rather um the bell 
you just press and once you move your hand it goes back so that's called a push button so you push it and then remove your hand it goes back just like your computer keyboard if you press a down a will be able to move your hand what it goes out all right so that's that so please i want you to permit me to stop it today i just want to just let you know that okay um this is Arduino. this is robotics it's possible you can get these components in nigeria right you can get it in nigeria there are many places you can get in nigeria but preferably i think um this company green lab micro factory sells it at the most cheapest price i've ever seen because uh, many other things i don't want to go into that more yet to sell their products but that's that so um i don't know much about the stuff it's a ceo that knows more okay so i'm going to stop here into this i'm going to tell us something i'm going to give us an offer for um well, we'll wallet we'll wallet 10 10 i think um minus the ceo and um our meeting ticker that's three so that means we are literally um seven on this call right okay and that's fine no problem so we are seven people on this call right i think at this seven i'm going to give you so far too okay so now coming um january we're going to have um a session we're going to have a training um fridays and saturdays in january or final Saturdays in january so gamma's technology is the company that for many years now we've been able to train a lot of people and um just like we've organized many free sessions like this just to let people know that we are not here to joke but yet to impact kids our focus are kids right because we look at it that your um the foundation right if we're able to imbibe um tech skill in you as a child when you grow old sorry like the bible says you will not depart from it right so you'll be able to um get a better understanding right and grow with it so you will not be dummy i mean you will see a lot of um ceos that are in america right it's small children they are building stuffs so why not we break bridge that gap that is where we come in all right so our focus is majorly on kids other people can learn as well but our focus is on kids and that is why we do a lot of things literally almost free all right like this session now is a free session okay so now but before i continue what i want to show us i want to tell i want to just drop you something about um to parents and i also believe our parents are here with us for the 10 of us for the six seven of us are in the call um okay so when i was little i my parents got a laptop, no, a desktop day. It's a computer for me, and I started installing. I started learning things by myself. They allowed. Are you sleeping for five, five day came in? Is the class boring? Okay, yes, your sister. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so um, <laughs> okay, so um, sorry about that. I just started someone sleeping. So if um, parents helped me, you know, they just allowed us to use the computer whenever we want to. But with caution, right? With caution, so he doesn't do anything that's you know like we have we have Yahoo Yahoo boys, yeah, right. So that helps me to uh, to know more about computer, and I saw that that's the gift. And I love I love being around computer personally. I love being around computers. I love doing things around computer. Like almost all of my life is computer, right? All of my life is computer. I can literally navigate my way through the computer. I can I have my I can type as fast as fast can be. I can do many things on my PC right now right many many things and i'm even more or less like a consultant to many other um tech companies okay so my point is why was i able to do that because my parents encouraged me to learn one of these two things so whenever i said i want to learn this thing they did not say no don't learn it we are diving into a tech world okay we are in a tech world right now right we are not, we are not even diving we are in it already right we are in the fourth industrial revolution technology age so please parents i would i would really love you to encourage your kids by supporting them to learn one of these two case skills like i said aside from the fact that they're going to make a lot of money there's money in tech i believe you all know that however in fact they're going to make a lot of money in the future or even at now uh it helps them to build their mind help them to build their mindset they were able to make decisions they were able to make mistakes and correct the mistakes they were able to think critically all right so now back to what i have here um advanced coding for kids generally cohorts so it happens that you all are going to be the first people that are going to participate in this um 
in this training in January. So um, the management and I will discuss about how to make it very, very impactful for everyone. Okay. So, um, okay, so this, this course promises to make a substantial impact, enhancing their intellectual capacity and equipping them with essential skills for the future. So yes, so it's more or less like preparing a way for you in the future, right? preparing a way for your kids in the future. So by participating, your children will delve um, deeper into the world of coding and robotics, enabling them to unlock their potential. Anyway, I just want to just keep on all this fertility and let's move to what we have. Now, what we're going to have in this um, advanced session coming in January, right? Um, what we're going to do is this. You have, in this one month advanced class, you're going to learn about um, Python, all right? So you're going to be able to create um, an age calculator, which will be to calculate your, which calculator that can calculate the age, how long you've lived and all that all right so to able to that's an application here a written application so you also be able to create um a great calculator for most um students you can create a calculator that will calculate okay this person is called this give me the grade some videos will be shared with us about that then you should be able to by the end of this course you should still be able to create a security passcode project whereby if the user enters the wrong code the um the user will receive an error message telling him that he typed the wrong code or may even log the device just like you pass it on your phone okay so you see that we have about five things here one two three four five you can also create an email validator so if the email is not correct that is maybe it doesn't have the at symbol or doesn't have dot com it's going to try an error that your email is not correct so that's an email validator there all right so you can also create a calculator and a converter to convert Nera to dollars and dollars to Nera and many, many others. I know many of us like money. Okay, so that's that. Um, so and then uh, we also have um Scratch programming language. I'm going to give so my aunt, I know some of you have uh, have an idea about Scratch programming, but trust me, this is not going to be like um you know that this group be diff this group be different. Okay, so now this the worth of this course on its own is twenty five thousand Nera. Okay, last year we ran a promo for people and we decided that this year we're going to increase the price for it because i mean we we'll, nigeria is changing why don't we move with it but still we are still going to be um friendly all right ogama technology is going to be friendly okay so um not just that um you're also going to get a mentorship worth ten thousand naira. so that means if you have any question after the session you're going to get a mentorship on that then the worth of it is ten thousand naira. all right you're also going to get some study materials and recording session just like this we have a study materials we have for those of you that have subscribed to Ogam Master technologies youtube channel you're able to see that uh, your your, your ebook will be sent to you okay so don't worry about that so but there are many other materials that will be used during the session so that session the recording materials and the um study manual everything is worth fifteen thousand naira. and the certificates which is approved is going to be what uh, which is worth on five thousand naira. So everything total value of this entire course is seventy thousand naira. Wow, that's a lot of money, right? Almost. This is even I think it's even reduced because I think um, Python right now for any training it's over hundred um, k. I don't think you see anyone less than that. But but we're not going to pay seven thousand naira. Right, so I'm not going to pay We are actually running um, a discount now. Okay, we're running a discount for kids. It's a new year, right? So let's celebrate each other. So instead of paying um, 7,000 naira, we're running a 90% discount, 90% off. And you can pay 7,000 naira. But I am going to give you a special offer. That's me, right? Okay, the company is giving 7,000 naira, right? So that's on them. So I'm I'm going I'm willing to personally since we are about six of us, thank God we are not many. So we are six of us there. So I think if you are six, right? If you are six, I'm willing to give. Should I give you six? Okay. I'm willing to pay. I'm going to give the six, six. No, let me make it three. Yeah. So let me make it three. I don't have so much on me. So let me say 
the first three people that are going to pay um they are willing to participate are going to pay five thousand and i'll pay the rest to Ogama technologies i'll balance it and that means i'm going to pay two thousand naira for three people that is six thousand naira in total so i think i should be able to spare six thousand naira to come pay for those parents that are willing to quickly um you know register their child to learn more on this coding so out of these six people that we have on this call, if we're able to get three participants that will be able to pay 5,000 Naira and register for it, I'll pay up the balance and make sure that the person is registered for the course. Now, please note, even after this call, after these three people, this 7,000 Naira is only valid for 10 people. If we get 10 persons, end of slots. If we get 10 persons, we're not, we're not taking anybody at all. You go for the next quote. All right, you get if you already get to 10 persons, go to the next court. That's the plan. We don't want much people so that we'll be able to focus and able to be because during these sessions, I won't just um I won't just be um talking, I won't just be training you, I'm just be talking like I'm doing now. You're gonna have your inter you're gonna be an interview session, you're gonna talk, you're gonna give me a ask a question, and most importantly, you are going to practice. So you sh most of you will share your screen, or rather all of you will share your screen interchangeably and be able to, you know, code re in real life and say, okay, this you did this like this, okay, okay, correct it, correct, do it like this, how you do it. You know, just like, like a mentorship, right? It's not going to be like, um, I know, I don't know the schools in Nigeria now, but the ones I attended, they don't really, you know, put us through in everything. We Most of the time we do it ourselves. But no, we're, not, we're going to, um, we're not going to spoon feed you, we're going to help you understand what you be what you're learning so we're going to focus on you that is why we're using 10. i think when we started this call we're about 20 something people that was in the in the call so we're not using 20 we don't need 20, we don't need you don't need 11 people participants we just need 10 participants that's all and we're good to go at that time you go to the next cohort all right so like i said to the first to the first um three people that will be able to pay five thousand error i'm going to give them i'm going to give them um i'm going to register put the balance and pay for them okay so after that three people and that the remaining seven we pay seven thousand error and then the court ends okay i think that's that's good that's you know i'm doing it because i can see only six of us and i'm like okay that's good so but then aside from that we also uh also also offer um different trainings we have on other on other online and on-site training private coaching private training this is different so obviously the price is different that's why we don't put we don't have it here so we have courses on web development whereby your child will be able to build the website using google and html it depends on the one you want and then we also have a graphic design course with canva all right so the child will be able to design eye-catching flyers um logos business cards presentation slides and all that and you also have a course on video editing video editing using um CapCuts, which is the most popular one. We have CapCuts, we have um, Camtasia, we have um, Filmora, all right? We also have Adobe, Adobe um, Premiere. Okay, so they also have another course, Data Science, for those of you that are not, for parents that would love to dive into tech, you can also take in a course on Data Science. I know most of our parents would have heard of it. Data Science and Machine Learning, we also have courses on that as well. So. Now let me see the first three people that will be able to pay this. So once you've done, if you be able to um, do this, so these are account details of uh, um, this thing. So you can pen it down or make a transfer now. And let me know so that I can tell the CEO that you paid um, this amount and I'm going to balance the rest for you. So if you do that, just put a, put a call, put put it in the comment that you made your payment. Then secondly, um, before we come to the end of the session right yes that's what i'm asking now if you have any question please this is the time for you to ask a question put your question on the income message all right put your question on the income message and the questions you are attending to right away okay so let's have your questions on the income message on the chat box right on the chat here yeah you can ask a question put your question on the income message i'm waiting so we have 10 minutes at the end of this class. Remember, you're paying 5,000 and a half if you have for the first three people. So let's have it. 
So even you after this call, if you want to decide, I don't know, whatever is your, your, is your choice. But then I'm waiting for our questions. I think it's a good one. I mean, yeah. I won't say anything. Yeah, Ronke, okay, your question, please. Raise up your hand. Any question, please. If there's a question in the next five minutes, we'll just conclude this session. I'm not going to drop this offer on the group. So, the offer that's going to see on the group is 7,000 naira, which means that we're having this offer only in this missing. That's for only the six of us that are here. Okay, so just so you know. So, after this call, any other person is going to pay 7,000 naira for the training if you want to present your child. And I believe that the course, this training has been very, very impactful. So if you want to continue enjoying this and more intensive training, um, we just have to pay. This is just a token of five thousand naira for now, or seven thousand naira after this meeting. Okay, so I'm waiting for a question. In the next three minutes, if there's a question, we call it a night. You're all muted, just so you know if you're talking. You're all muted, so put your question in the income message. Thank you. Good evening, coach. Thank you very much for presentation. But I want to ask, where is your office in Lagos? Where can we come in for that tech training? Okay, currently we don't have office in Lagos. Our office is in Benin City, but then our online trainings have been impactful, right? So you don't need to worry about that. If you want a private training, just come to our DM and we're able to attend to you about that. Okay, but trust me, our online trainings are I don't I don't think there's much difference. The only difference is that they are there physically, right? I think that's it because it's it's more or less like a physical training, but yeah. So we don't have a physical office in Lagos or in um in Edo State in Benin City. Okay. Alright, so thank you very much, Us MM, for your question. So any other question, please? All right, any other question? We have two minutes to go to a question. Okay. Okay, you're serious up your hand. What's the question? Okay, um, yeah, I mean, you can ask a question. I think you're on the series. Is how long is January? Okay, quick one. Um, the January training is going to it's all Fridays and Saturdays in the whole of um January. Okay, so now this is it. This training is a monthly program, and note this this um, the fee is for per child, right? It's per child. Okay, so uh, if you have more than one child. 
we can we'll give you another discount maybe but maybe not i don't know but then the training is for just all fridays and saturdays which means all fridays and saturdays we have just twice now it's because school is going to resume in january right so we don't want to take your stress you know after stressing yourself in school come again and have another class no on weekends you'll be able to have enough time to assimilate everything you learned okay so that's that so Friday Saturday is in January that January we have levels in this training right we have levels in this training so we normally start with um the basics right that is why we will start try the whole of thank you very much for this question mm try the whole of um January we're going to focus on the Python so we'll be able to have ground understanding you no know, Python is uh, a test-based programming so after Python the next month February we're going to go into um scratch programming language all right so you you be able to do all this that i mentioned here be able to create all this create a game create games like this and wonderful stories okay so after that um then other months you continue you can dive into web development and many other courses even graphic designers so they both coding and non-coding courses okay so it's just a level something right just to make sure that you are being your, your kids are engaged and exposed to when it's i think this i think it's 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 okay all right so mm did i answer your question so it's going to last for yeah thank you it's going to last for the whole of the month so off and it's going to be an hour session right just like we have here an hour session and the time will be communicated to us those that are registered all right so friday and saturdays off and saturdays in january we're going to have that it may be we may not be final today so it depends on the company anyway we are here to uh, conclude on that but then it's going to be okay i think it's already okay since they put it there so that's that um any other question please Any other question? Okay, if you have a question, please can you speak? Because you're still muted. Okay, in the next one minute, I think I will just just call it a night. Um okay i guess rocket doesn't have any if, if you have any question can you give me a reaction if you don't have any questions i don't know you have any question give me reactions i don't know you have any question okay if i came you don't have any question give me a reaction if you don't have any question so i know you don't have any question let's use that two minutes to decide okay thank you very much and then we don't have any question thank you very much um okay another person does not have any question Okay, Ronke doesn't have any question. Adi Wali doesn't have any question. All right, so I want us to do something. If you enjoy the class sessions and all that, please just drop a comment. It's going to help um, build, not just me, but it's going to help encourage the company that, okay, they were doing well. And if we didn't do well in some parts, let us know as well so we can improve on it. Because this, this program is something that I'm going to do uh, every month. We're going to organize sessions like this every month just to, you know, expose people. So whether I, period people register or not our aim is to what make sure that the people are having an idea of tech that is it so whether people register or not is now a concern we just want to just make sure that we're dishing out what knowledge okay all right so um i guess nobody is going to take this opportunity to cast anybody so no, i guess every other person is willing to pay seven thousand after this session but that's fine no problem so i think i'll keep my six thousand naira to my pocket and i will call it a ninth at this point okay thank you very much everyone for staying thank you much for joining and um do have a wonderful night rest bye